Hello everybody, I'm Alex Povey from Povey's Oak Cakes again. Uh, just going to make this video today, but before we start, I want you to look at the weather. It is a cloudy day, there is some wind as well, sorry about uh, the quality, if it is getting a bit windy. And also on this very spot I met a man, and also the time is, it's around dinner time, and it's October. Now these things will be important on this video as you'll find out towards the end of the video. So we're going to talk about that, that's us, look, 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 over there. And uh, what we have just done is invested in renewable uh, technology to help cut our carbon footprint, which is uh, very good. Now in this spot here, where I am standing, Obviously we've got all these big, big buildings around us. And there was a man uh, at the start of this year uh, taking photos and looking at roofs. Now, I turned up to work, so I'm just over there. And I, I saw this man and I was like, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. What are you doing? Um, his name's Tom. Uh, I'm just... Uh, looking at roofs, well like a roof spotter. I mean, I know there's train and aeroplane and wagons and stuff like that. So yeah, basically, I thought uh, that's, that's sad, take it to another level. That's what I thought at least. No, he's like, no, 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 no. I'm just looking at roofs, uh, looking at potential. I can't believe that none of these uh, industrial units around here are not, in, uh, not investing and looking into renewables like your solar these roofs are ideal for solar. I said, well, to be honest with you, Tom, I have been looking, um, sorry about the wind. I've been looking into, you know, solar for the last three or four years and I phone up my gas supplier and well, my, my energy supplier. Hey, I want to, I'm inquiring about solar, but how do I get these? How, how do I, what's it? I'm trying to do some research on the internet. I can't find a, a great deal. Um, so I'm phoning up the energy supplier. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, we do this, that, the other. But you know, you don't want, you know, we don't want them. Like, you know, passing the book. What? Why? It turns out now, from what I've learned, is that these big energy companies don't want us to have renewables. They don't want us to have uh, solar panels or, you know, these. I don't know, hydrogen, whatever they're coming out with and all the rest of it because they're not making any money off it. So I was speaking to Tom, I said, oh, you know, I have been looking at it. So we looked across all the business park of where we are, no, nothing, no, no one's got any. All these big buildings are ideal and um, absolutely nothing. So I said to Tom, look, I've got, uh, you know, I am looking at them, can you come, you know, give us a quote or you know see what um, see what I need now I'm spending around a thousand pound a month on electric so I am solar for me is ideal now there are some offices around here where they're probably only spending one or two hundred pounds it's just two or three people in an office nine to five whereas that we're sort of working 24 7 so we've got day and night to consider um, so what we have had done is that we've had a, a 42 uh, solar panel system at 11 point something something kilowatt nearly 12 watt kilo 12 kilowatt system now these 42 panels are like three foot by six foot so they're like as tall as me uh, probably as wide no I'm joking um, so yeah um, so I, what I might do is I might drop Tom's mobile number in the description and probably put his email. If the number's gone, then he's probably moaned at me. So I've had to remove it, but, you know, I, I think he's, he's, you know. So he, he wasn't really coming to me. He was trying to go to try to just measure up for these other companies to try, you know, utilize, because they've got massive, massive amount of roof space. Uh, that's what he was trying to do. And obviously try and gauge why nobody has got um, 
solar panels. So I said to him, look, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have a look. So we, we did a price as well. The price for the system in total was uh, 15,000 pounds. Obviously as a business, uh, you claim the VAT back, that takes it down to 12, and also you get your 19% uh, off your corporation tax, um, you know, for SME businesses investing uh, 200,000 pounds, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I ask your accountant about that one. Um, obviously, if you, you can do domestic, domestic's only 5% VAT. So for a 12 panel system, uh, as of 2019, you're probably looking between four, uh, four to five grand. Obviously you don't get the VAT back, but there are some maybe grants, depends where you are in which area of the country. And yeah, so, We've only just had this installed as of about August. So we're now on October. Uh, I do want to do another video where I sort of compare my bills. So I'm spending about a thousand quid a month. This, this, this bill should drop down. My usage of electric should get lower uh, because I'm making my own electric, um, you know, and saving the, planning at the same time or trying to obviously it won't just be one of us it's going to take an abundance of companies to try and achieve this so in my own words uh, this is what, what I've got so I'm, hopefully we should get another video out so we're just inside this is the Solis uh, inverter and then there's a meter obviously goes off this, this goes into the uh, distribution board <coughs> and at the moment we're generating about six kilowatts of electric uh, bear in mind at the start of the video I said it was a cloudy day and it's October so this system very good you get a data stick and you plug it in so you can either have uh, Wi-Fi GPS GPRS uh, or Ethernet. I have it plugged in on Ethernet due to really, you know, you haven't got to worry about your router changing your router from time to time or it knocks out. You've just got an Ethernet connection. And this links to what I'm going to show you in a minute because you get an app or you can get it on your computer. And this way it's like security of, you know, the make sure that it's online and it's okay so this is uh, your inverter to convert the solar into electricity and then it just goes to your mains board and you've got a meter on there which obviously meters the electric coming in to the building okay so as you can see here this is the 42 uh, panel system on the roof and um, yeah I mean the, it took about half a day to put all this on and I used to think it was builders who uh, d did all this but actually no the electricians which makes sense and yeah scaffolding went up easy peasy because Tom obviously helped sort all this out uh, with it being a commercial building and for the size of the system we had to go for planning but Tom sorted that all that out as well and it was really a doddle really um you just have to wait for the weather and let time take its course so you can't complain with that so yeah this is like a, a drone shot of the roof um i mean really what we've worked out is this system should uh you know be plenty for, for what we need during the day, obviously then at night. So what we've got here is a picture of the app, which I use, and on there you see the name unit, that's what we just called it, just as unit. And if you go back to the start of the video where I said about the cloudy day, so we're currently producing about 13% of the 11.34 kilowatt hours and you can see on there, uh, we have, you know, there's a bit about the pounds, 
Now, obviously, that's probably the first bit that everybody looked at. Uh, looking at the pounds, this is just a benchmark price. So, this is just as as a guide. It's not exactly. It's just sort of what you're saving against your electric company. So, when I was telling you earlier about how electric companies don't like this, this is because they're not going to be making the money uh, from me as a customer or yourself and this is sort of i see this app as a form of security so i could check the app daily weekly uh, it gives me a full report on what's been going on has it been a sunny day close you know it's got uh, the weather on there as you can tell um so at the moment uh it gives you up-to-date information on how the system is performing now some people don't have this but imagine if your system has gone down and you just weren't looking at it and then months and months went by and you were thinking hey what's going on and you know now i haven't had any problems with this uh whatsoever but i, I do see that it is worth having it either on a computer or an app because like i say it's just that reassurance security uh, for your system. I mean, if you're investing money into this system, you want to make sure it's working right. Uh, I mean, I know they come with a 20-year 20, 20 guarantee. If something does go wrong, there's not many reports of things going wrong uh, with solar, but if it did, you need to know. So you get all these stats and statistics. I hope this video has been as you know, informative, just to give you a bit of an insight. I would like to do, uh, I'd say more videos on this and how time progresses. We've only had this system in for about a, a month or so. So, you know, I'll, I'll do some more videos as we go on, especially about the bills. Let's see if we can get them bills down and just how much are we saving? And, you know, other businesses out there, uh, you know, they could be utilizing their roof space and, you know, help. You know, you are saving the planet because we're not burning coal. We're, we're producing our own electric from our own building. Now, there are some, um, what would you call it now? So in the, we have a phase two on the cards, not set in stone just yet, but we are waiting for the technology to, yeah, enhance. So by 2022, what we were looking to do is utilize the other half of the roof space with the same size system. But what we'd have is a battery system. So for night shift, that would run on the battery. But it's all down to technology and the price because these batteries are obviously like six or seven grand just for something that's going to power us for a few hours because we are using um, the same amount of electric as a month as maybe a, a cul-de-sac with 15 houses on it. That's just what we're using. Don't forget the other businesses out there which are probably using considerably loads more. So I did a video as well on uh, packaging, uh, recyclable, renewable packaging. So we are on the ball and you know hoping to create a better future and hopefully other businesses out there will do the same so look out for some more videos don't forget i've dropped tom's details in the description and to be honest he'll just give you an open honest opinion uh, about renewable technology because he, he obviously does like charging ports for cars and things like that so he does do he is he's, he's in the know of how these things work so don't call them or whoever you use and ask them about renewable because they'll just give you the, oh, we're busy, we'll get someone phone you back and they never do. So just be wary of that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, thumbs up, down, up, down, whatever. Um, it's up to you if you like it or not. Leave us a comment. I don't know. Um, can't make it. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, um, I'll see you soon.